scanning his LinkedIn account in 2019, Shamrock Rovers defender Roberto Lopes came across a peculiar invitation in a foreign language. It was the then manager of the Cape Verde national football team, Rui Aguas. Yet after connecting with him, the Dublin-born centre-back ignored his follow-up message. It almost cost Lopes, unbeknown to him, a shot at international football. Through sheer ignorance and probably rudeness, I didn't translate the message. I just assumed it was spam and was a standard LinkedIn greeting in Portuguese, which I don't speak Lopes tells Sports Mail, on the eve of playing in the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. Nine months later though, after a follow-up text in English from Aguas, the Shamrock Rovers star realized to his astonishment he wasn't being led up the garden path. Yes, the Cape Verdean Football Federation really did want him to declare for the small island country in the Atlantic Ocean, through his Cape Verdean father. He only set up his LinkedIn page at college eight years earlier, while studying leisure management at Dublin Institute of Technology. How useful that proved to be. I went back and copied and pasted the original message into Google Translate and he was asking me, we're trying to get some new players, would you like to declare for Cape Verde? I was absolutely delighted as I never thought it was a real opportunity and it just presented itself in front of me, I'm just so glad I wrote back to him in time. Growing up, you often got the prank phone calls pretending to be a club in England. You don't know how genuine the social media contact is until you get formal contact. The English message settled me and removed the skepticism I had. With an international career representing Ireland a long gone possibility, birth certificates and passports were swiftly exchanged and a matter of weeks later, Lopes was in the Cape Verde squad for a friendly against Togo in October 2019 at the Stade Parsman on the outskirts of Marseille. Just one issue remained. The same issue that almost cost Lopes his big chance in the first place. Born and raised in Ireland, Lopes could not speak Portuguese nor the national language of Cape Verdean Creole. I was very excited to play international football but the nerves were due to the language. My mother's Irish and my dad speaks Creole but I never learned it.